Hey, this is Trey back again from part two. As you can see, I have not done the juice yet. I, I just watched part one and I left out a couple of key things that I wanted to share with you in the first video. So I thought I'd do that real quick before I juice and uh, show you the volume uh, produced in uh, uh, part three. But uh, here's here's something neat as far as the pulp collection bin. Now, if you have a Green Star juicer or a juicer that does not have a reservoir for the pulp, uh, what you can do, and I learned this from John Coke Kohler at OK Raw, um, you can take one of these salad green tubs, the larger size ones that you usually get salad greens in at the grocery store, and this makes a really nice pulp catcher. And because what you can do if you don't fill it up, you can you can you can put this lid back on, seal it up. No bugs are going to be able to get in there, and then that way you can just dump it out when you get a chance, rinse it out, let it air dry in the. Uh, in the dish drain and you're good to go for next time and when it gets to when it gets uh, if it gets a crack in there or anything like that you can just toss it real lightweight easy to carry and it, and it holds a lot of uh, space so that was I thought was a really good idea so I wanted to share that with you uh, and another thing I wanted to share about the uh, about the uh, darn what was it the uh, Oh well, I'll have to... Oh, the peppers. The peppers not only do the cardiovascular effect, but they have a uh, an effect of uh, a healthy effect on the GI tract. In other words, they uh, will cause something inside the body called apoptosis, which uh, means it basically the hot peppers will trigger unhealthy cells within your GI tract to go ahead and extinguish themselves. So newer, stronger cells can be back. So it's a, it's a healing accelerator to your GI tract. Not only that, it, 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 the, a lot of the, the bad parasites and the bacteria, they do not like hot peppers, whether it's, you know, habanero, cayenne, they do not like it, and that will help expedite them out of your body, and it won't affect the, uh, the good bacteria you want to hold on to. So they're sort of like an antibacterial and antiviral. Same thing with the ginger. Um, Ginger does a lot more than what I what I even described. Um, and then there's way more beneficial, uh, you know, things in regards to the greens as well. Um, there was one other critical thing. Uh, the lemons also. Uh, Lemons are, are, are one of the only uh, plant substances discovered so far from what I've learned that are anionic versus cationic. So that makes the lemons very unique. Uh, and uh, that's probably one reason why they are so efficient inside the body. The liver is, the, 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 our organ, the liver, is also uh, anionic. So... Uh, the liver uh, likes these lemons, so lemons in, a, in an indirect way are sort of good for your lemon, especially if you drink the lemon juice straight within 30 minutes after squeezing it. Oh, and the lemons, like for example, you know, I can tell from all of this produce here that I'm not going to be able to drink this at one sitting. And my guess is that it's going to make close to two quarts or maybe a little over or maybe a little shy. I'm not really sure. I'm curious to see what how it turns out. But another beautiful thing that the lemons do is they help preserve the juice. Well, the Green Star itself is the, is, is, is the best juicer as far as longevity of the juice. Once you're done, you can usually hold juice with up to 72 hours, whereas other ones, especially a, a extractor, you're sort of encouraged to drink the juice right away, which I still drink this as fast as possible as well, but, but when you make enough for the next morning or whatever, uh, it's good to have the lemons that affect the, because uh, that will help preserve the greens or in everything in the juice, you know, and, and may help maintain its integrity. So those are the things I forgot in, 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 in video one. I'm sorry that took so long, but um, I'm just doing this stuff to help you know, we help y'all learn and to reinforce my learning because I can just refer back to it. But um, I thought those were some good hints. But I'll I'll go ahead and stop now, and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and get this juice started, and then I'll uh, have part three where we'll look at the volume. And um, again, I hope I'll, I'm encouraging y'all 
to uh, to uh, start start some juicing here and make some healthier uh, decisions as far as your you know your food and your health. Um, until part three, I'll see you then. Bye bye.